चैप्टर नंबर 14 एक्सरसाइज 14.2 लेट्स सी द सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन शो दैट द पॉइंट्स माइनस फोर कॉमा माइनस वन माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस फोर फोर कॉमा जीरो एंड टू कॉमा थ्री एंड टू कॉमा थ्री आर द वर्टिस ऑफ रेक्टेंगल गोइंग ऑन टू द सोल्यूशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवेन विद फोर पॉइंट ए माइनस फोर कॉमा माइनस वन बी माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस फोर सी फोर कॉमा जीरो एंड डी टू कॉमा थ्री and we need to show that these four points are the vertices of a rectangle we know that in a rectangle opposite sides are equal and diagonals are also equal so we need to prove that opposite sides ad equals to bc comma ab equals to dc and the diagonals ac equals to bd we know that the distance between two points p x1 comma y1 and q x2 comma y2 is given by pq equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now let us find the lengths of sides and the lengths of diagonals so ab equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square which is Minus two minus of minus four whole square plus y two minus y one whole square that is minus four minus of minus one whole square that equals to under root of two square plus minus three square which is equal to under root of four plus nine which is equal to root thirteen hence we got the length AB as Root thirteen units. Now let us find the length BC. BC equals to under root of x two minus x one whole square, which is four minus of minus two whole square, plus y two minus y one whole square, which is zero minus of minus four whole square. That equals to under root of six square plus four square. Which is equal to under root of thirty six plus sixteen, which is equal to root fifty two. Hence, we got the length BC as root fifty two units. Now let us find the length CD. CD equals to under root of x two minus x one whole square, which is four minus two whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. That is Zero minus three whole square, which is equal to under root of two square plus minus three square, which is equal to under root of four plus nine, that equals to root thirteen. Hence, we got the length CD as root thirteen units. Now let us find the length AD. AD equals to under root of x two minus x one whole square, which is two minus of minus four whole square. Plus y two minus y one whole square that is three minus of minus one whole square, which is equal to under root of six square plus four square, that equals to under root of thirty six plus sixteen, which is equal to root fifty two. Hence we got the length AD as root fifty two units. Now let us find the length of diagonal AC. AC equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square, which is 4 minus of minus 4 whole square, plus y2 minus y1 whole square, that is 0 minus of minus 1 whole square, which is equal to under root of 4 plus 4 whole square, that is 8 square, plus 0 minus of minus 1 is plus 1. So plus one square. That equals to under root of sixty four plus one, which is equal to root sixty five. Hence, we got the length AC as root sixty five units. Now let us find the length of other diagonal BD. BD equals to under root of x two minus x one whole square, which is minus two minus two whole square. Plus y two minus y one whole square, that is minus four minus three whole square, 
that equals to under root of minus 4 square plus minus 7 square which is equal to under root of 16 plus 49 which is equal to root 65. Hence we got the length BD as root 65 units. Here we see that AB equals to DC equals to root 13 units root 13 units AD equals to BC equals to root 52 units that is the opposite sides are equal and AC equals to BD equals to root 65 units that is the lengths of diagonals are equal therefore the four points A, B, C and D form a rectangle.